Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting from Vietnam National University. I am Luther Ling from Little Secondary School in Vietnam. I am Luther Ling from Little Secondary School in Vietnam. We are honored to be here to present with you the prototype of our invention, which is named Health Management in Greenhouse Using Transfer Learning Method. We are wasting any more of your time. Welcome to the main feature for right now. As you can see, greenhouses are considered to be a favorable artificial environment, separate from the outside. However, Pests can still exist by the same plant sources that breeds the pathogen. The conditions and abundant food in a greenhouse provide a stable environment for pest development. But why? Because often the natural enemies that serve to keep animals control, like this lady up here, don't present in the greenhouse. Some pest situations often develop more rapidly and with greater severity than outdoors. Early detection and diagnosis of pests is key to managing greenhouse pests as well as selecting the appropriate pesticide when needed. By using a pre-trained disease recognition model with conventional neutral network, we were able to form a deep transfer learning which can produce a network which can predict with precision up to 90%. And now Mr. Ming here will introduce to us about our system. Please, Mr. Ming. Thank you, Mr. Ming. And now I'll introduce about deepening with convolutional neural architecture with convolutional tensor and GPU performance. While computing matrix or tensor, we can easily get the best score output from many neural inputs via convolution, no, hidden, uh, convolution hidden layers. To train the data, we use Moment MP2 model. But why did we choose Moment MP2? Because Moment MP2 model improves the center R performance of mobile models on multiple tasks and benchmarks as well as across the spectrum of different model sizes. Next, Mr. Tang will tell you more about the asset collection and labeling. Please, Mr. Tang. Thank you, Mr. Ming. Here at DSA, we took picture both from Greenhouse and from World Search Engine and label them with program called Label Image, which resulted in uh, having up to 200 different images that contain three different types of pets, which are cabbage looper, catworm, and corona potato beetle. We also applied machine learning by using a, using a GPU on the VR GTX 750 with TensorFlow environment. Here's a machine learning process in GPU and NVIDIA. The result will be exported when loss function is at 0 0.5. You can see NVIDIA GPU use up to 97%. The result will be exported for pest detection purpose when classification loss reach threshold. As you can see, we prepare a short video for cabbage looper detection. The system can predict with precision up to 90% real time, of course. Moving on, we have Ms. Ming here, who will operate the system as a demonstration. Please, Ms. Ming. Thank you, Mr. Ming. And now I will illustrate how our system works. The, in the greenhouse, as we have to see, we have a camera to live stream the early pest detection video and it is controlled by Raspberry Pi. We have prepared a short video of cabbage looper and this is the original video, while this is the machine learning applied result video. We can see that the precision is up to 99%. Once pest the pest is detected, the result will be sent to central monitor to help users control pests in the real time. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Do feel free to ask us as we help you to discuss further about our project. Thank you for listening. So just a minute before you leave, as you know, welcome to Vietnam. It is a really beautiful country. Today, we will be playing you a traditional game. It will be really glad you take it for us. If you have a chance, please visit Vietnam and hope you enjoy your stay in our country. Thank, Thank you. you.